Karen thinks it's my job to help her go to the bathroom? Here's what happened. Subscribe to Am I the Jerk on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. In high school, I worked for a native movie theater chain. While they've since changed them, the uniform at the time consisted of navy blue trousers and a red polo. Nearby, in the same plaza, there were several restaurants and fast food places. Among these was a Panda Express. During my 15 minute break, I'd been at Panda and in line ordering and waiting to pay for my food. I was minding my own business and hoping I could get out of there quickly enough to have time to inhale my orange chicken prior to darting back to the box office when my break ended. I'm a bit zoned out, so I became rather startled upon an abrupt ahem, accompanied by a tap on my shoulder. I turned and took in the sight of what we all know now to be a Karen. Me. Oh, sorry. Was I in your way? This is my default line of thinking and I have terrible social anxiety. Karen. I said I need to go to the bathroom. Me, pointing. Um, well, it's over that way, I think. Karen. I know that, obviously. Me, confused at this point because I'm not at all on the way of her getting to the bathroom and now she's admitting to knowing where it is. I don't know what... Karen shouting. I need the key. At this point, it's time for me to pay for my food. Remember, I'm on the outside of the glass encounter and waiting in line. I figure maybe she's trying to get past me to ask the cashier for the bathroom key. So I step back and make room for her to go ahead of me. She doesn't. Karen. I asked you for the bathroom key. Do you not know how to do your job? I finally realize that she thinks I'm employed there. I guess maybe it's because my work shirt is red and so are the employee uniforms there. Me awkwardly pointing at the cinema logo on my polo. I'm just on my break. I don't... She must not have looked at the gestures I'd made to the uniform of the company I'm actually employed by. Karen. Is this your manager? Turns to the cashier. Your employee is so rude. Just because she's on her break, she's refusing to help me go to the bathroom. She needs to be fired. Cashier. Ma'am, she doesn't work here. Will you be purchasing a meal? Our restrooms are for customers only. Karen sputters, then turns and storms out of the place to terrorize some other establishment with a public restroom. They totally allowed people to use the bathrooms without buying food, by the way. I think they just wanted to have her leave the store because of the scene she just made. So, am I the jerk? Absolutely not. Nothing to worry about. I probably would have behaved the exact same way in this situation. When the poster talks about being socially awkward in a situation like this, I totally understand what they're talking about. I don't know what you want. You're just some stranger coming up to me saying things that make no sense to me in my situation right now. I'm just here trying to pay for my food. What do you want, sorry? Anyway, this just stands out as a generic awkward interaction with a stranger. Kudos to the cashier on the quick thinking for not having to deal with her, though. Lady, what don't you understand about me telling you I'm blind? You know, it's actually sad how often this sort of thing happens. I mean, being a blind girl, instances of ignorant people are daily. But entitled parents represent a certain level of infamy for me. But this one just happened, so hey, why not make myself feel better by making you guys read about my misfortune? The people involved. Me, Entitled Mother, Security Guard 1, and Security Guard 2. So since my parents are more at risk from COVID, I've been going shopping alone more and more often during the pandemic. Yesterday was one of these cases. Grocery shopping is a more involved process for a blind person. I have to ask a staff member to assist me. I also have my guide dog Gumbo inside with me. The dog in itself increases the instances of bad experiences. Now, during my shopping, I always get a wide array of reactions to my dog, but one in particular occurred towards the end of my shopping. I heard loud footsteps followed by the loud screech of, that doggy's so cute, can I pet him? It was obviously a small child by the voice, so I prepared myself before responding that no, my dog cannot be touched due to him being a guide dog. Surprisingly, the child didn't act entitled, but seemed surprised and excited about a dog having a job. She, I believe it was a she, asked me a few questions and then left. I thought nothing of it and continued with my shopping. After I finished, I decided to stop by the food court on the way out for some lunch. So I went and made my way across the supermarket, ordered my food, sat down and waited. But by some cosmic gracing of bad luck, that is the exact moment that this child and their parent decided to walk close by. I heard the child tell the mother about what I told her, about how my dog is working as a guide dog, that I'm blind and I use him to get around, etc. 
The mother isn't really saying anything, but I can sort of tell by her tone and the few words she does say that she's seeing some issue with what her daughter was told. I decided to listen in and after the daughter finished her babbling, the mother came up to me. Now, as I said, people coming up to me is super common. I thought nothing much of it. However, the first words out of her mouth were, why did you tell my daughter you're blind? Her tone was very harsh, very accusatory. I immediately knew what was coming, but as usual, I put on a smile. Me, because I am blind. Your daughter asked me about my dog, so I explained what guide dogs are and why we use them. Entitled mother, you're not blind. Me, excuse me? The straight shooting words caught me off guard. Entitled mother, you're not blind. My cousin is blind, so I know what a blind person is like. You shouldn't lie about that. I think you should let my daughter pet the dog. She likes dogs. It's pretty rude to refuse a child something like that. My hackles rose slightly. Me. Well, ma'am, not all blind people are the same. Just because you know a single blind person doesn't mean you know how all blind people are. And as I already explained, your daughter can't pet my dog due to him being a seeing eye dog. Entitled mother. Why are you lying? Your eyes are completely fine. You're using a phone. Don't say you're blind if you're gonna show you're not at the same time. Why would you lie about this? Me, excuse me, but I'm not lying. My eyes looking fine have nothing to do with anything. Not every blind person's eyes look the same. Look, you're stressing me out. I'd rather you just left me alone. Entitled mother, my daughter wants to pet your dog. She's been well behaved all through today and it's more than reasonable to let her pet the dog. Me, I said no. I don't know why you can't just accept my answer. Entitled mother. You said no using that bull excuse. You're honestly starting to peeve me off. I don't know who you think you are, but I happen to work for, I can't actually remember where she said, and if you don't stop it, I'll get security to throw you and your fake guide dog out of here. Now, I'm sure you get the picture. This went on for a good five minutes of her getting progressively more and more angry at the fact I wouldn't let her daughter pet my dog. The daughter was actually silent through the whole thing. I don't really think she even cared that much. The entitled mother, however, was another story. Eventually, she screamed out. Entitled mother. That's it. I'm going to get security. If you're smart, you'll be gone by the time I get back or you'll regret it. I snorted at her small fit and heard her huff and storm off. By that time, my food had arrived, so I started eating. I didn't really believe she'd go get security, but with entitled parents, you can never be sure. About, I don't know, five minutes or so went by of me eating. I was enjoying my fries, browsing Reddit and Bliss. But of course she returned. I heard her stupid stomping from like 15 feet away. And she was raging on to an apparent security guard. Entitled mother. Look, that's her. You see? She's sitting there with a dog. She says it's a guy dog, but she's not blind. You have to kick her out. Dogs aren't allowed. I sighed and removed an earbud to prepare for the incoming ordeal. A deep male voice sounded from a few feet in front of me. He sounded rather harassed. Security guard one. Uh, miss, is this a service dog? Me. Yes, it is. He is a seeing eye dog. I am allowed to take him in here. I have a copy of the appropriate law if you need it. Security guard one. No, that's fine. I know service dogs are allowed. This woman is saying you aren't disabled, though. Is that true? Me. No, she's just angry that I didn't let her daughter touch my dog. I honestly don't know why she cares. Entitled mother. Because you're a liar. I told you I have a blind cousin. Don't try to tell me I don't understand blind people because I do. Me directed towards the security guard. I've tried to explain to her that one blind person doesn't represent all blind people, but she doesn't seem to get it. Could you please ask her to leave me alone? I just want to eat in peace. Security guard one. So you are blind. Me. Yes, I am. Security guard one. Can you prove it in any way? Me. Uh, no. How could I do that? And why? Security guard one. Well, it's just that she's saying one thing and you're saying another thing. I don't exactly know who to believe. But yeah, I see how proving you're blind doesn't really work. He turned to the woman. Why is it exactly that you think she's lying? Entitled mother. Are you serious? Are you thick? Look at her eyes. They're not white or cloudy like blind people's are. She's literally looking at a phone. Security guard one speaks to me. Uh, what's your response? Me, sighing. 
Maybe her cousin has those eye symptoms, but not every blind person does. Those symptoms are caused by diseases like cataracts, which I don't have. As for the phone, devices have been accessible to the blind for years. I find it surprising she has a cousin who's blind and doesn't know that. Entitled mother. No, I saw you look at the phone. You were looking at it. Me. I have basic light perception. I can detect light. I direct my eyes to it out of habit because that's where my hands are occupied. Look, it's not my job to educate you on what you don't know. I turn back to the guard. Please, please just ask her to leave me alone. I don't care if she doesn't believe me. You don't need to stand here and mediate a back and forth as if we're going to agree. I'd just like her to stop talking to me and leave me in peace. I'm feeling extremely harassed. Security guard one. Yeah, I get that. It's just that I can't know for sure if you're blind, so she might have a valid point. Me. What? That applies to every blind person. How can anyone prove that? If she has no reasons for me lying, then shouldn't you just give me the benefit of the doubt? Security guard one. Uh, I don't know. She said her cousin's blind. She probably knows something about it. Me. Pause for a sec. Wow. I'm not even going to bother. Look, if you're not going to get her away from me, then I'm just going to leave. Thanks for failing to protect a disabled patron. I stood up to leave, getting my dog to guide me. I took a few steps and suddenly felt someone grab hold of my harness handle tightly and pull me to a stop. Entitled mother. Wait, I said I wanted you to let my daughter pet the dog. Then you can leave. Me. No, get off my harness. Get off. Now, understand, grabbing my harness is akin to someone taking away your eyes. She was impeding my means of navigating. So I panicked. This has only happened to me once before, and I panicked then too. I attempted to pull my harness handle back, all while screaming, Get off! Let go! Help! And her screaming in my ear about... Actually, I wasn't listening as I was too busy screaming myself but I assume it had something to do with her daughter. The security guard was fumbling around fairly uselessly. Eventually, another security guard hurried over. I heard him bark out. Security guard two. What's going on? Me. She's taking my guide dog. Help me, she won't let go. Entitled mother. No, she's supposed to let my daughter pet her dog. He said so. I assume she pointed to the guard. The guard didn't respond, but the way the conversation went, it seemed like he non-verbally indicated that he hadn't said that. Security guard two. Miss, let go of the lady's dog right now or I'll escort you out. Entitled mother. No, she's not blind. The dog isn't real. Don't just jump in and assume you know what's going on. Me, I had calmed slightly so I could speak in a more coherent manner. Please just get her off of me. I want to leave. I don't feel safe. Let me leave. Security guard two. Hey, are you all right, miss? Everything's going to be fine. I then felt the woman's hand being forcibly removed from the harness handle. As soon as I was free, I immediately commanded Gumbo to lead me to the exit. We walked quickly. I heard the woman screeching loudly behind me. The man shouting, Calm down! Just stop screaming! I was still somewhat panicked, but I was able to calm myself down as I hurried towards the exit. It was so chaotic, I nearly forgot my shopping where I left it at customer services, because I didn't want to have it around me in the food court where it could be snatched. I left, called a taxi, and came home. It's really stuck with me for the last couple days. But the worst part is that these types of interactions are an almost daily occurrence. Blind people are the targets of constant harassment in public. This woman just went further by physically assaulting me. I know I could have and should have gotten her arrested, but honestly, I was just so panicked, I wanted out of the situation as soon as possible. So, why am I telling this story? In short, spreading awareness. It's important for people to know about the blind experience and what blind people have to deal with. It's also super important to say, if you're ever a witness to a situation like I just described, intervene. Had that second guard not intervened for me, the situation would have been a lot worse. So I think it goes without saying, but I'll ask it anyway. Am I the jerk? No, of course, obviously not. It's fairly common knowledge at this point that guide dogs are not to be pet, and the fact that she thinks that just because she has a cousin who's blind that she understands what blind is in every instance is just ignorant. You know, we use the word entitled a lot here, but a lot of it is just ignorance. Everyone wants to act like they know what everything's all about because they know a little bit about that topic. But to sit there and tell a blind person that they are not blind, even if you have that suspicion, 
That takes a lot of guts to even call them out. The sad thing is, this lady didn't even learn her lesson and I'm sure went about the rest of her week complaining about the poster. Talking about the lady who wouldn't let her daughter pet her dog and was pretending to be blind. Sometimes we get a story where the jerk comes out the other end having at least learned a little bit of a lesson. Maybe not in that moment, but maybe went home afterwards and thought about it and realized they were wrong. I don't think that happened here. I'm sorry, Auntie, I know you like to spoil your kids, but this is my birthday. It was my 10th birthday, so it's been a while. I am 30 now. Thus, I obviously can't remember who said what, so I'm just going to describe what happened. Our cast today, we have the entitled aunt, spoiled cousin number one, about one year younger than me, and spoiled cousin number two, about one year older than me. So my 10th birthday was coming up and my mother invited her sister, entitled aunt, and her two sons, spoiled cousins one and two, to our house. They would stay for about a week and as usual, they saw our house in the small rural village as some sort of holiday resort. They were living in the city. This was bad enough already as we had to withstand comments like, Oh, that fresh country air. It surely has something pristine to it. But I could not stand this all year long. Near our house, our neighbors had goats, so there was a bit of a smell. Spoiled Cousin 1 and 2 found it boring to play with me outside, didn't know what to do without their consoles and toys, and thus mocked me for not having many cool games or gadgets to play with. Also, my parents were not rich, so no way I would have had an Xbox or a PlayStation back then. I had a secondhand Game Boy, but that was about it. My entitled aunt, however, well, she was rich, at least compared to us. In short, I didn't really get along too well with the two brats, but okay. So I already knew that Spoiled Cousins 1 and 2 would also get a present for what technically was my birthday. It's not really a tradition here, but also not uncommon that all the kids celebrating get something. When I visited them for one of Second Cousin 2's birthdays, I also got a small gift. So totally fair. Also, I knew that both cousins would get bigger presents whenever one of the cousins celebrated to prevent them from fighting over a toy or be jealous or whatnot. I don't know. So I totally expected them to unwrap their own presents. What I did not expect was this. The day before my birthday, my mom had to run errands and prepare some things, so she left me with Entitled Aunt and the cousins. Entitled Aunt announced that we would go shopping for presents at a recently opened Toys R Us store about a two hour drive away. I had never been there, so I was super excited. My mom was relieved and grateful. So we got in the car and their entitled aunt said something like, okay kids, you know the deal. Everybody just pick one thing. No skateboards of vehicles, no gaming consoles. So of course I thought I was included in this and of course I started to imagine what I would get, but I was plain wrong. She was just talking to the cousins. Entitled Aunt did not tell me, but I started to figure it out when she asked if I would like to wait in the car when we arrived at the store. But there was nothing to do in the car and they couldn't tell me how long this would take, so I tagged along. For the next 40 minutes or so, I had to watch my cousins each pick and choose one thing they would get for my birthday. They both ended up with Lego sets so big, the boxes almost didn't fit in the trunk. I never even knew there were sets this size. I did not cry, but I was feeling terrible, so I was very quiet when we arrived at home. My mom surely figured what happened and I could hear her yell at Entitled Aunt later that evening, but it was late and I couldn't hear what it was about. The next day, my birthday, the cousins started to play with their Lego, ate most of the birthday cake, and mostly ignored me unwrapping my presents. My mom got me a really nice dark green summer jacket. I always wanted one in this color so I could hide better in the forest where I play with my friends so I was super happy. Entitled Aunt gave me a Barbie set because, well, I'm a girl. It sure was quite expensive and large, but if she only knew me a tiny bit better, she would have known that Barbie isn't really for me. I had about seven toy guns, a bow, some action figures, and Lego, but no Barbie. Well, she had a slight Lara Croft resemblance, at least it was not a blonde one, so in the end, I found a way to play with the thing. My mom later told me she had no idea that Entitled Aunt would do this. She thought Entitled Aunt did not have a present for me and would take me to the store to pick a thing so I would get something I'd like. So, is she a jerk? Uh, yeah. It's your niece's birthday. I understand spoiling your kids and loving them and all that, but you've come out here for this special occasion? 
Let her have the one day. And don't bring them to a toy store the day before their birthday and not be expected to buy them something. Okay, you had already gotten her a very nice present as far as you were concerned. Sure, you didn't know her well enough to understand that maybe it wasn't the best gift for her, but you had gotten her something nice, you thought. But you have to understand from a kid's point of view, taking them to a toy store the day before their birthday, seeing in the car everybody get one thing, you have to understand what's going through their mind. I want to think that maybe Entitled Aunt just wasn't thinking on this one, but then again, she has been dubbed Entitled Aunt for a reason, I assume. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories linked at the top of the description. And if you like Am I the Jerk, give Am I the Genius a shot, linked in the description as well. Either way, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.